Hello, dear friends. May God bless all of you. And may the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Word of God, the Spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ, possess you in such a powerful way that your mind, your intellect will be guided according to His will. Because once this happens, you will become the happiest person on the face of the earth. We think that we know how to choose, right? We have our own tastes and we don't want to be influenced by God's tastes and we end up making wrong choices. Anyway, I would like to pass on to you this message, which perhaps will help at least one person or a lot of people, who knows. But anyway, is the word that God has been touching me with, and it's the same word that I gave to the pastors and the bishops when we were there in Saudi Arabia. And what happens? The holy text says that Jesus was led to the desert by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit led Jesus to the desert to be tempted. So Jesus was tempted when he was very hungry, you know, 40 days without any food. So the devil introduced himself and said, if you are, if you are a child of God, then tell this stone to turn into bread. And Jesus answered the devil by not following his suggestion. And then the devil took him to the pinnacle of the temple and said, jump off, because it's written, the devil used the word of God to tempt Jesus. You know, it's written that his angels will keep you and so on. And Jesus answered as well, using the word. Jesus always used the word in order to defend his mission, his faith. But in the third time, there's a very special detail that you can check there in the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 5, which says the following. Pay attention, it's very nice, it's very strong. Then the devil, the devil, taking him up, meaning he took Jesus, taking him up on a high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. Pay attention. The text here is very, very deep. And it's worth meditating and thinking about this. The devil showed Jesus in a moment of time, in the blink of an eye, in a thought, in a suggestion, apparently a suggestion that was good. If, if it wasn't with Jesus, right? I mean, if it was myself or you, anybody else, that suggestion would be very glorious, isn't it? Because the devil showed him all the kingdoms of the world, all the kingdoms. And this is, let's say, the way Satan works. He tempted Jesus twice, he didn't succeed, so now he showed all the kingdoms and said, look, this is all mine, I'll give you all these, which was a lie. Nothing was his. Nothing belongs to him. But he suggested. And the question is, how many people, how many people, 
who in a moment of time whether in the search for the glory of this world or due to a pleasure or a personal satisfaction have exchanged the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of God for the Spirit of this world. Because everything the devil wants is to deviate us from our focus of serving God to serve Him and, and do His will. That's all He wants. That's it. This is our daily war. You and I, all of us who face this demon daily, God offers us a life of quality, an abundant life. But God's offers is not for now. It's not an abundant life and trouble-free. Because abundant life is life without trouble, isn't it? I think that an abundant life is when you have no problem. However, as long as we are in this world, we are going to have problems. You, you have problems. I, you have problems. We you all have problems. However, what is the, the focus? What, is, what does the devil do? He comes with a thought. Because it says here that in a moment of time, in a moment of time, meaning in, in the blink of an eye, just an idea, just a suggestion, just a thought, And how many have been those who exchange the glory of God that is the Holy Spirit for the glory of this world? How many are those who have been allowing their first love to die and they are holding on to a new love, brand new one, in the attempt of satisfying their desires and, and lustful desires. Dear friends, the devil will never show himself to us with a trident, with horns and, you know, looking all red. No, the devil introduces himself in a thought just as God as well comes to us in a thought. It's what happened to me. When Jesus said to me, what profit is there if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? In that moment, a, a light, the red light went off and straight away I ran to the arms of my Lord. And the same thing happens. The devil in just a moment, you know, in just an opportunity. Oh, we can't waste this opportunity. It's a golden chance to do this and that. And sometimes the person doesn't know that that tiny idea, that suggestion that is so supposedly great was an offer from Satan in a moment of time to change the person's mind so that that person would serve him, serve the devil very well. And sometimes the person doesn't know that that moment of time that they were tempted, and if they make the decision according to what the devil wants, then their eternity, they, they may give up on their eternal life with God and embrace eternity with Satan. Because as long as we are in this world, we have to decide who we serve. If it's the Lord our God, the only and true God, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Israel, or we will serve the gods of this world, the lusts, the things that the devil offers 
because the devil continues to offer and to offer in in a moment of time think well think with me dear friends perhaps this will open your eyes to the risk that you and I all of us run because if the devil led Jesus to a high mountain and there in a moment of time showed him all the kingdoms of this world don't you think he's going to do this with us he does he does, but it's up to each and every one of us to put on, you know, the breastplate of righteousness, the armor of God, so that we can defend ourselves in every area, in every way, we can defend our salvation. God gives eternity to everyone. He's willing to save everyone. But he doesn't save us by doing magic. He saves us by giving us his word, giving us his name, his spirit, so that we may preserve ourselves, protect ourselves, and be free from all evil. In a moment of time, the devil makes the person lose everything. And for all eternity, that's the main problem. Think about that, dear friends. See what it is that God is telling you right now through this word. And the devil taking Jesus to a high mountain. Look at this. The devil took Jesus and brought him to a high mountain. It wasn't the Holy Spirit who, who took Jesus to that mountain. It was the devil. And there, in a moment of time, in the blink of an eye, quickly, look, here it is. All the glory of this world, all the kingdoms of this world. If you want, I can give you them all. Decide right now, just decide. And how many people, how many people lack discernment, spiritual discernment, due to the lack of the knowledge of the Word of God, lack of communion with God, the lack of the armor of God, they end up giving in. May God bless you, dear friends. Take care of your salvation because your soul is priceless. Not even the entire world in gold is more valuable than your soul. It has an incalculable, immeasurable, endless value. That's why Jesus gave his life to save our soul. May God bless you all and I'll see you tomorrow. Praise God.